Hello and thank you for joining Content on Now TV, the show that hosts authors, actors from all over the world in order to meet some hidden secrets of behind the scenes of the publishing process. Right now we are having with us Joey Bar. Hello, Joey. Hey, how are you? I'm great, how are you? I'm very, 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 very good these days. I'm going through a very good period of my life and I think that this is a part of the way I think I control my thinking and I create my life and I influence my feelings so I feel good. That's great. It's amazing the way that you, your own self-perspective regarding the, the behavior that controls your life as an actor. By the way, because you already wrote and published few books, some of them are in the middle of the translation process, some of them are already being in the market process and got very good responses from Germany, from China, in the International Book Fair of London. How do you manage all that? How this all becomes your practical reality? Um, I'm thinking about one major thing every day I pray to inspire. I pray to bring something to people. And to speak about my books is one thing, and to speak about my acting is one thing, and to speak about my music is one thing. And but your video clips is another <coughs> thing. Yeah, but I really want to talk about the above message, above all. I think that I want to present an idea not to present a book or a, a song, to present an idea that coming above all, which is everybody watched The Secret. Everybody watched the film The Secret and read the book The Secret. It tells about how you can create your life with your thoughts. What I'm coming to say is what I discovered this current year. I'm, I'm, I've been exploring this secret, the whole secret thing, for the past 20 years, since I was 18. Since you were two. What? Since you were the age of two. <laughs> the age of 18, and I'm 38 right now. And what I discovered the current year is that if you want something, if you believe in something, go directly to God, to the force above all. And no matter what your religion is, no matter where you are or what you are or what age you are, God is with you 24-7 and he is waiting for you to pray and to ask him something that you want. Could you be a bit more practical? Because people that are, they know you from uh, your great channel on YouTube, from your books, from TV shows around in Israel and around the world. But how do you relate to this big idea in your practical life? How do, does it work? How do you engage God, by the way? Um, I open uh, the Torah. I okay. open the Tehillim and I open the holy books, I am, I'm Jewish, and each one of us has uh, a specific religion, uh, no matter what your religion is. God is, is a force related to all religions. And if we would think about God as one major force in the universe, which uh, God is here with us right now, he's here with us, every day, everywhere. He's going through things, above things, beyond things, and you can feel it if you are treating it, if you are thinking about it. If My books is, 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 is about self-empowerment. And I discovered the current years that if you want something and if you ask God the specific thing, it can happen. And there is a two powerful moments during your life. Before you go to sleep and, and the few moments that you are awake in the morning, you are connected to your subconscious mind. And how I relate it, due to your question, how I relate it, how I manage it or during the day, I, I just ask God that will give me the power to inspire others. No matter how many views I have in my music videos on YouTube, no matter how many sales I would have to my books, no matter 
The numbers are nothing for me. All I ask is to inspire, to have the opportunity to inspire people, to, to bring them something, something that they would feel better in their life so we would have better place to live in, to live in to be in a place that we would actually be better people would live in a better place this is what motivates me so before you go to sleep and in the few minutes before you are fully awake you are engaging to your under yourself your higher you and praying to God that will help you to do what exactly? Inspiring, it's a big word. Take me please to the practicality of life that you discovered for your own experience the last year. Yeah, I've been in London uh, for a few weeks uh, during the summer. Alone? And alone with myself and my prayers. And God. And, and God, yeah. He was there too. Uh, and I really realized that whatever I'll do, whatever whatever I'll write, the thing is acting. I want to be an actor. I want to express myself as an actor. If I'm writing a book, I'm seeing the movie. If I'm if I'm singing a song, I'm I'm I'm, I'm feeling the monologue through the lyrics that I'm writing, that I'm singing. If I'm practicing my my vocal, my my voice every day, I, I'm 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 seeing the actor in inside of me, and I have great passion to be an actor to present my art in acting. Uh, we just filmed uh, five trailers to my books as you do to a movie and I participated in every step in the process. I've, I, I did the voiceover of the, of, of the trailers and I, 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 I wrote the trailers and I took a director uh, to film the trailers. So I expressed myself as an actor through my writing. So acting an actor is the main title, is the main practical thing that that moves me and that is my target in life. And you, and you felt that your prayers when you were alone in London towards your international career as an actor is being accomplished throughout the last month in your practical life? I feel that every day it's been answered every day and I'm in conversations with God every day. Um, before I got into this interview, I asked my God, what do I? What do you want me to say? What message do you want me to bring to people? And he and and God told me, not to speak about my books, not to speak about my music, but to speak about the above message that God is here for us every day, twenty four seven. I, God wants me to bring an ID, an ID to the people more than my books, more than my music, more than my acting. And, and you feeling you you feeling that as sort of an inner voice that you are listening and you understanding and you feel interconnected. I feel that in a, as an is, in, inspired thought, inspired not thought. just a regular thought that you think daily, not just a regular intuition or feeling, but as an inspired something that comes comes from above. You know when God speaks to you. You know, I see it everywhere. I see it everywhere when I when I'm going. When I'm walking in the street, I'm asking things, I'm asking questions, and, and, and things coming to me, like a cover of a paper with a specific actress, that this is the message, this is the answer to my, to my question. Like, in everything, in everywhere, and everyone can do that. I'm no different than you. I'm no different than anybody in the world. But when you're challenging this wonderful idea, with the very, very harsh difficulties in life that people are struggling. And then when instead of sometimes they are not feeling hugged by God or by someone or by their beloved, they are feeling hurt. They are feeling that they, they, they are trying to survive. So how this unique a, a atmosphere that you're describing can meet our Western very, very challenging life? You know, I'm that too. I'm, I'm, I'm confessing, I'm, I'm facing challenges all the time, difficult, 
moment it's, in you're, my life. You're not living in a, in a, in a cave in Tibet. Praying no, to God. no, my life is not all good, but God is a very good force. He sees everything as good. If something bad happens to you, he sees it like a good thing because there is above knowledge above the thing that happened and what your mission is to think what is good in what happened and how can I understand what God is trying to tell me how can I go above this situation and treat it as a challenge and not as a bad event and how can I um, understand this in, in in a way that it won't happen again because things bad things the the thing about bad things is that it it has a habit to overcome in your life and and happen over and over and over again until you understand it until you understand it and say no more what you need to do is to understand what the universe is trying to tell you about this challenge and if you are strong enough, and you must be strong enough, and if you are in a self-control, you can influence the bad thing. It, no matter what happens, the matter is how you treat it, how you think about it. And you can be in a control of your thoughts. You can think about, let, let's, let's take a, protect, a practical thing that happened in my life. I, I, I try to... to, to um, to keep diet, all okay. right? I try to eat, to eat healthy. So uh, a few days ago, I, I had a very strong feeling to eat uh, something not good to my body, but, uh, but I needed it. So uh, I, I bought this food and I, I, I asked my God, why, why it happened? How can I overcome it? This is bad for me and I still want it. So, um, what I understood that this is uh, something that avoid bigger bad things to happen because I understood this is a ba very bad thing to do. So the next thing, I, I would be aware of the next steps. When something very bad happens, it has a reason. When something, when you want something, when you have a, a bad habit, like for me, is sometimes he eat not healthy food. Mm -hmm. This is bad for me. Each one of us has has bad thing to, to do. So this is a step before uh, a bigger things, bad things. Worst things you can have that can happen, and this is uh, this this bad small thing stops the bigger things because you start to be aware of yourself. You start to be aware of the force inside you to control your life. Joy Bell, I want to thank you so much for sharing your uh, experience, your upper understanding, and uh, to wish you all the very best in the higher life, the practical life, the publishing life, your books, your acts, the trailers, in variety of languages throughout the world. I want to thank you so much for uh, being with us. In this thank studio. you, thank you. This is so inspiring to meet you all, all the time. When I when I see you, when when I meet you in your office, when I meet you uh, during filming our interviews, uh, this is so inspiring, and I feel so great each time we meet. Oh, thank you so much for this warm and kind things. Thank you so much. It t comes from your heart, and it touches also my heart. Thank you, Joy Bao, so, so much. And if you have a question to Joy Bao, please don't hesitate. Click, send an email, uh, meet, ring a phone call, come to London, come to Israel, come to the studios, come to YouTube, just be in touch regarding the books, but also regarding the higher ideas that were presented here. Thank you so much for joining Contento Now TV.